Submit to Sample Grading. <clears throat> okay, so for step one, we are going to do an append query. So Rural Health Associates is a healthcare company that manages rural health clinics in underserved areas of the country. You work in the patient services department as an information specialist. The records in the additional staff table need to be appended to the professional staff table. Create an append query to append the records. Save the query using append staff as the query name and then run and view it. So what you're gonna do is you're going to make sure you have additional staff clicked on. You're gonna go up to create query design and then make an append query from here. They're gonna ask you which table you want to append the additional staff to and you're going to choose professional staff. Okay, so now that what you've done is you've got whatever is going to be put here, down here in this design grid, is going to append to the professional staff. So additional staff is already highlighted here because we had it chosen here before we clicked create. So I'm just gonna double click on additional staff and it said append the records. That means all of records. So I'm gonna double click them all in the same order that they're in there and you'll see that they're from the table of additional staff appending to staff ID and if I click on it just to show you, it shows the professional staff. So it's going to append to the professional staff there. All right, so we're gonna save that with the name append staff. And then we're going to run. You're about to append five rows. Yes, that means add. So we're adding the additional staff table to the professional staff. And then we're gonna view. So that's what we added, the professional staff, just to have a look and see. So you can see that those records are now added to the professional staff table. So we've got it saved and ran and all that good stuff. Step two, open the family table in design view and delete the county field. So the family table in design view, and we're gonna delete the county. So I'm gonna click here from a thick black arrow pointing to the right, and I'm gonna go up to the home tab and choose delete. Now it's saying, yes, that's, that's all they want for that. And then change the data type for the income field to currency with their zero decimal places and save the changes. So currency with zero decimal places. Okay, and then it says save the changes that you've made to the table. Some data may be lost, that's okay, that's because you've deleted the county field. Yes. Step three, using a query, delete records from, oh, d delete records in the family table where the income field value is greater than 55,000. Save the query using delete high income as the query name and then view, run and view it. So we're gonna using, using a query, delete records in the family table. So we're gonna go create and query design and we're gonna do a delete query. And we're gonna be looking at the family table. So double click on family to bring it over. And I believe it's the income that we're looking at. Okay, so where the income field value is greater than 55,000. So criteria greater than 55,000. Okay, so we're gonna save that as um, delete high income. So obviously we will be deleting somebody. So yes. And then view. Best to look at it in the family table and just check out and see any incomes. Uh, okay, so you don't see anything above 55,000 here. Lots of ding happening. Okay. Step four, open the clinics table in design view. Create a validation rule for the state field that ensures only the values ID, MT, OR, or WA are entered in the field. Enter must be ID, MT, OR, or WA as the validation text. Save the changes to the table. Okay. So we're going to go to state. Validation rule and validation text. 
So validation rule is going to be ID MTOR or WA. So okay. So equals ID ID or equals MTORWA. MTOR WA. Oops. And the validation text is just going to be a copy and paste. Okay. So then save the changes to the table. That's fine. Click yes. And then you can check it out in data sheet view. Alright, so again, that's how you type it in there. It's the equals ID. These double quotation marks go in afterwards after you click the saving. But, um, but yeah, click the equals and the state initial or space or space equals state initial equal uh, space or space equals state initial like that. All right, so that one's saved. Create, step five, create a one-to-many relationship between the family table and the patient's table. Family ID is a matching field. Make the relationship enforce referential integrity. So we're going to go up to our database tools, click on relationships, and we are making a relationship between, I forgot that fast, family and patients. So family and patients with the family ID, I believe, being, look at me going ahead and doing it, enforce referential integrity. Create family ID, right? Yeah, it was. Okay, cool beans. We are going to save and close that down. Meaning, uh, I showed you this in an earlier project, but a relationship means now whatever happens to the family ID in one table is going to happen to it in the other. That's what creating a relationship means. Enforcing referential integrity, meaning you're going to enforce whatever happens um, the integrity of one field. So if you change something in one field, it's going to look the same. The integrity of it is going to remain intact and look the same throughout all the other tables that it has connected to it. Step six, um, open the health services table in design view. Design view. And make the service code field a primary key. Okay, so this one's pretty easy. Ensure that any letters entered in the service code field display in uppercase. So we're going to click on our service code and we're going to go primary key. Okay. So displaying the um, service codes in uppercase is going to be in your format. And you're going to go a greater than symbol. So it's going to be all uppercase that way. Oops. Okay, so that's this one here. Letters entered in the service code field display in uppercase. So a greater than symbol in your format. You guys saw this before with the date. You had to do medium date. Okay, so save and close. Using an update query, update the field values in the state min inc field in the income levels table. So income levels table, using an update query, income levels table, income levels table, create query design, update query, we're going to use income levels and we are going to change state min inc to be 16780 for all records where the value in the county field is twin false. Okay, so. Oh my goodness, I forgot that fast. Um, 16780. 
where the county field is Twin Falls. That's a space. And we're going to save this guy as update state min ink. I'm just going to copy that. Yes, we want to save. That was an accident. <sighs> okay. Darn. Update. Yes. <laughs> we needed to run it before we saved and closed it. I accidentally clicked close instead of save. So we are double clicking on it to run it. You are about to run it. Yes, we want to run that. Up update four rows. All right. So I'm just going to open that back up income levels so now when we run it there we go see that's what your shorts are supposed to get the run and then the view and that's your four there okay cool step eight open the income levels table in design view Add a calculated field named ink difference to the end of the table. The field is the result of subtracting statement ink from income. Okay, so we've done a few of these calculated field befores, befores, fields before. All right, so we've got ink difference here as the name. That's your alias, but where you're doing it over here in a table data sheet view, you can just put it right there. Last field in the table. We're going to choose a calculated field, and then you get the same zoom or expression builder box and they're asking you to subtract statement ink from income. So from income means income goes first. So you're going to go square income uh, state min ink. There we go. Okie dokie. You can also type it in down there. Expression. Right click and save. Now view and data sheet view. Ink difference is your name and you now have the statement ink minus the income. So you get the remainder. Closing that down. Step nine, switch the income levels table to data sheet view. Well, I guess I didn't need to close it. So we're just gonna open it straight up again. Double click opens it straight up in data sheet view. Add a calcul oh sorry. Add the caption tax income to the income field. Add a total row to the table and calculate the max for income and the average for statement ink. Okay, so caption tax income to the income field. So the income field here gets a caption, caption, caption. There's our name and caption in our table fields. So our caption is, because I forgot it that fast, tax income. All right, so that's what the new name becomes. It's not the field name specifically, but it is the caption that you will see in the data sheet view. And we need to add a totals row. Totals row is back at home. So we'll add totals, and they're down there at the bottom. And when you click in them, you get a drop down, but they want you to only add in um, Maximum for income field and average for statement ink. So max for income field. Max. And average for statement ink. Average. Whoopsies. Average. Average, average, average. There we go. Perfect. I believe that is the end. Save the changes. So we will right click and save and close it down. Make sure everything is closed up here before you close it all together and submit to Sanford Grading. Awesome job.